Now to your school watch, stay at home orders and distance learning has really changed how kids learn these days. It's also changed how we celebrate those academic milestones for students. Today, a couple of fifth grade teachers from Antelope Trails Elementary made sure their classes did not miss out on their continuation celebration. And photojournalist Patrick Juice Godfrey shows us how. I have something for you. Today, my teammate and I are passing out yard signs for our fifth graders. This is awesome. It looks so good. I've missed them so much, I can't even tell you. So to be able to see them, um, even if it's just for a few minutes, it, it's, it brightens my day. Good job. <laughs> Elijah is moving on into sixth grade. His teachers from Antelope Trails came by to present that, present him with a, a sign and a congratulations. And I think they're going like seven hours today to get to every fifth grader. Um, that just is outstanding. It was nice that they were that they did this. Congratulations, honey, you did it. You got through fifth grade. This kind of is providing us a little bit of normalcy for that relationship because I know my teammate and I both feel strongly that that's the most important part of our job is our relationship with our students. Congratulations on a fabulous fifth grade year. We think we're doing something for the kids, like giving them signs and all, you guys are gonna make me cry and always say give back so much and you can't even put that into words. Yeah, it does look good. It means a lot to me that our teachers care enough to come and visit us even in this time that we're here and we're not at school. Hi! Hi! Congrats on finishing fifth grade. To finally see them in person, that was, that was, that was a good feeling. Only like 48 more to go. My hope for next year is that we get to go back in the fall. I think that we all know that that's where we function best. Thank you. Oh, thanks to the teachers. Congrats to all those students. That's happening all over Southern Colorado this week. Again, as we move into the summer months, hopefully everybody will be back in school in the fall.